Hello everyone, and welcome back to Etalan. As Valentine's Day is fast approaching, this video will be a dedicated theme doll, which is part of the Valentine's Day collaboration with my fellow doll creators here on YouTube. Links to their channels will be within the description below, so check out their work after the video. For this doll, I'll be using a clear from the Monster High series as a base. While brainstorming the design of this doll, I decided to go with a lovesick doctor theme. Inspired by the character designs of Mizutani Shizuku from My Little Monster and Nurse Joe from Pokemon. To start off this custom, I will be removing all factory hair, clothes and paint. Removing the head by softening the vinyl with hot water and factory paint with 100% acetone. With a layer of Mr. Super Clear Matte Varnish and Albrecht Durer Faber-Castell Watercolour Pencils, I start with the face up. I generally prefer just the freedom of free rolling designs when doing face ups, so I decided to go with slight cat eye with small double eyelids for this look. It feels really strange referring to her just as her, but I couldn't for the life of me think of a name for her. Not very inventive on that part. What do you think her name should be? Leave a comment below with your suggestions. For the iris design, I used Wargamer detail brushes and filet her white and transparent red mixtures and then thinly sketched out the pattern. Within the pupil, I added small hearts because why not? <laughs> To deepen the contours of the face and add dimension, I use a mixture of soft pastels and eyeshadow and blush the face with a thin layer. To start with her clothes, I decided to go with a doctor style dress with a front panel closure, later adding various details for some Valentine's Day aesthetics.
Onto her hair, I decided to go with pastel pink synthetic wefted hair with PVA glue and paste the wefts all the way along the scalp, working my way all the way to the top of the head. For the parting, I sewed a custom thick weft four times the thickness of normal wefts. With this, I weaved the two adjacent pieces to sit flat along the scalp. To accessorize her hair, I attached some polymer clay charms and created a craft foam hat which I attached to the top of her head with some needles. Um, I suppose that's kind of gruesome, but she's fine. <laughs> to add finishing touches, I coat the face with shimmer highlighter and gloss the eyes and mouth with Vallejo gloss varnish. As the final step, I made her little love potions and attached a small medicine book to a belt that will be hanging from her dress. Out, 
Once that's all done, she's finished and ready for her photos. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out all the other creators of this collaboration and their amazing dolls. Links will be in the description below. It was so fun to work on this doll, so let me know what you think of her in the comments below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you'd like to see more of this doll or any of my other dolls, make sure to check out my Instagram at Edelon.